Alright, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Oshinoko Season 2, Episode 11. Uh, in the last episode, we, well, Bikomachi were trying to get their song from the guy who's currently composing it or producing it. Um, obviously he was in a bit of a rot because as obviously he gets older or they get older, it's hard and harder and harder to find inspiration to find new, or to make new and fun, interesting music. Obviously, with a little bit of a kick in the back from uh, Ruby, he was able to kind of find that inspiration again, which was cool. Um, also in the episode, we found out that they're going to... I can't remember where exactly. In Japan, they're going to... I think it began with K, but um, it ended up being the kind of area or town where Aqua lived in his past life or worked in his past life at the very least. So yeah, considering Aqua is still officially missing um or his his body is anyway from his previous life i wonder if that's going to be well i assume it's going to be some kind of something's going to happen with that i don't know maybe they'll find his body that'd be kind of fucked up considering it's been how many years like 16 that shit's probably a skeleton or fully almost decomposed i don't know uh <coughs> but yeah it was also like some little weird little girl um at the end of the episode as well which I have no idea what that's going to be about, but I guess we'll see. Um, yeah, overall, I'm very excited for this episode. So as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. Wait, is Miyazaki the name of the place they're going to? Okay, I don't know where I got K from. <laughs> yeah, I guess invest in a good uh, travel case, why not? Yeah, y'all going on a date to pick a suitcase? <laughs> oh, now she can't decide in her outfit. <laughs> Cute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she's got drip, to be fair. Very trendy. Is that something? I don't know if that's something Aqua would like. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, she was too in her head about it. Lol. <laughs> I actually want to see what he's going to say right now. Oh, wow. You're like half an hour late. That's crazy. Big fat lie. <laughs> Uh, I assume it's cold outside. She's wrapped up like crazy. Whereas Aqua's like in a very light t shirt and a blazer. <laughs> Aqua does not dress for the occasion. <laughs> like, even with that big coat, I'd still be fucking cold. Is she gonna be like jealous? Be like, is he gonna pay? He'll still pay. Damn, I was late and he still paid the bill? And we're not even together? Crazy. I want one of the suitcases that you can ride around on. Oh, like little electric scooters. They're very expensive, but I think they're just... And I travel maybe once a year, but like, I think they're just, you know, <laughs> I think they're a great investment. A white suitcase does not sound good to me. <laughs> I should get dirty as hell. Hell no. He bashed around on those belts and shit. It's, it's not that heavy. <laughs> it's like a tiny little purse. This is such a full-on date and he's like not even doing it on purpose. Yeah, you gotta go and get some dinner. <laughs> She's been cheeky. <laughs> oh, what is this fancy looking place? You made a reservation? When did you do this? This is just a plate of meat? Okay, well, shit, I'd eat that. <laughs> Cancel the reservation? I don't know. Why did he set up a full ass date? Did he, like, did he do this on purpose? Former 30 year old doctor. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, true. That's funny. I wonder if he actually was like 
did have a thing with lots of girls in his past life. Oh, well, I guess that answers that question. <laughs> so is it literally just like meat on a plate? No other, no other sides or anything like that? No fries, whatever? Or maybe not fries with this, but like someone else. Oh shit. What, who are you going to go for though? Like, I'm happy that he's actually thinking about this, but something is just going to tear it down again soon. It sucks. <laughs> She's got so red. Also, has he picked one of the suitcases that only has two wheels instead of four? Also, r rookie mistake in my opinion. The four-wheeled suitcases are elite. Yeah, you okay, relax. <laughs> what would she even do if he actually did that? Jesus Christ. Yeah, you're home. What did you expect? <laughs> <laughs> Who is Aqua going to pick? Hi, cheese. Akane did also say that she'd be like his ride or die. Say cheese, you sound like an old guy. <laughs> really? I'd still say that shit. Damn, maybe I'm old. <laughs> um, yeah, Akane still said she'd be his like ride or die, like she'd help kill this guy. So I think Akane is a good choice. Yeah, but like, do you want to? Do you like her in any way? Why not? Maybe if she wants to be held by you. <laughs> oh, in that case, you should come with. She wants to come with. Yes, she should. Oh shit. You can't do that now? You're gonna leave her nervous all this time? Look at her eyes. Oh boy. Yeah, this probably this this little conversation I I don't know, probably couldn't have waited to be honest. Yeah, literally, like tell her what you want now. Is he actually going to break it off of her now? Come on. Oh, this sucks. I like Agne. Bro needs to give himself some credit. Maybe she actually wants to be with you. And in turn, you should tell him that. Really? Uh -huh. Oh, she just tries to jump off the bridge again. Oh, that's rough. Damn, Aqua. Stay with her, Aqua. Come on. Is this the same bridge? Oh, shit. Yeah, it is. I'm not against kissing or having sex. Bro, she likes you. Stay with her. He's thinking about it. What, what does he want to tell her? Like, what happened to him in his previous life? Or, or even his previous life, even? Do you, have to, do you have to shout that out loud? <laughs> He's like, do I? <laughs> yeah, right? Well, there you go. What? <laughs> you don't even know if you do? Damn, okay. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. She doesn't, like, know what love feels like, maybe. But she's very open to exploring it. <laughs> yeah, you, you did go from 0 to 100 real, real quick, though. Mm, yes and no. I think it, it'd be nice to have someone like Akane there who'd, like, keep his secret and be there for him, but... It's also not... 
super fair for her to be included in the crime. 100 people, wow. Yeah. 5 million yen? That's thousands and thousands of fucking dollars, Jesus. I still think there's more to that story. I don't think that guy was the father. I think that's why he committed the murder suicide. Oh, her eyes. What is happening right now? It is a heavy topic. Is that what? I don't think that's what's going on in her head, though. It's a lot. <laughs> What's got Akane this way? What the hell? <laughs> Loophole? Detective Akane is on it? Is the loophole what I've said? Like, why would he do the murder suicide? Kind of thing? If he was the one. That did the affair? What's happening right now? Someone's pulling up. Who is it? Who is this? Oh. No? Who is it? Who is that? Who the fuck is this blonde man? Hello? What? What? This is not the father. What? Oh my god. Oh wow, he's the spitting image. Jesus Christ. Right, so that was Oshinoko Season 2, Episode 11. Jeez, man. Not only did we finally get a look at this guy, and he's actually, like, spitting image of Aqua and Ruby, and he's even got, like, like a, the high, the blue highlight in his hair. I don't know whether that's like an like art direction, or whether that's like actually part of his character design, like Aqua and Ruby. I don't know if it's all the time, but at least sometimes have like their own like highlights in their hair. It could be all the time. I haven't actually looked out for it too much, but this guy, he looks young as well, considering he'd be like uh, late thirties if he was the same age as I. Um, he could be a bit older than I, I think. Can't remember if they'd specifically mentioned that or not, but... Yeah, wow, shit. <clears throat> I recognise his voice actor as well, I don't know where from. I'd have to hear it more. But yeah, we didn't get a look at his, his eyes, he had sunglasses on. His hair looked very... Very aqua. Um, God damn. As well as then, with Akane as well... God, a lot actually happened this episode. We had the date with Kana, which was which was nice, but not nearly the point of the episode. Um, and then we had Akane's bit where she figured out there was a loophole in the story, which, from just what she knew, is interesting. I I think it's 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 probably like the easiest theory to say is that that guy obviously was not the father, which we know we we know confirm now. He is not the father, which is probably why he did the murder suicide. Um, he's not the father to Aqua and Ruby, and he's not—he's obviously not the father to Aqua and Ruby. He's not the father to the half sibling, basically. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, geez, I didn't think we'd get to see this guy for quite some time. But yeah, damn, very good episode. And uh, I wonder if this is the last time we'll see him for a while, or. Akane is obviously gonna probably explain to fucking Aqua about this loophole that she's realized. She doesn't want to because it's gonna lead him down the path of revenge, but this guy is still alive and trucking, and the fact that he also visited Ai's grave, kinda sick. I'm not gonna lie. Um But yeah, anyway guys, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching my reaction today. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.